My name is Chris Gambrulis. I'm the president of Ivory Development. Uh, we are the land acquisition and development arm of the Ivory Companies. Uh, our job is to um, acquire the uh, the ground, the land, uh, and work with the uh, local land use authorities, whether uh, city officials, um, planning commissioners, uh, et cetera, uh, to get uh, entitlements, the land use approvals, uh, zoning, engineering, et cetera. And then we build the infrastructure um, for the neighborhoods. Um, the three-legged stool of Ivory Innovations are the three uh, key factors that are that are drivers in um, in housing are as you know finance construction and and the regulatory space our team does more residential land development than any other team in the state of utah we have for many decades we are really at a pivot point um, because we as a as a market we put ourselves in a in a, a bit of a predicament by uh, under building uh, as we came out of the surplus of homes in the uh, 2007, 2008 timeframe. But then we severely underproduced several million housing units and just like anything, scarcity drives up price. The regulatory uh, element of it really is probably the uh, uh, hardest pinch point to navigate around because it is the one that we have the least amount of of control over. Um, we can come up with interesting construction um, techniques. We can work with uh, finance uh, people, but uh, when it comes to uh, the regulatory, we are at the will of the citizen planners, that whether they're the planners or the planning commissioners or the elected officials. And um, there are severe constraints um, around the amount of land that can be developed because of the regulatory constraints that are placed on us by these land use officials, whether they're uh, a cost prohibitive zoning, uh, cost prohibitive development techniques, et cetera. We are working with the uh, Utah League of Cities and Towns. Um, I'm a, currently a member of the Utah Commission on Housing Affordability, where we're looking to find ways to break down some of those barriers. Um, but at the end of the day, we are um, uh, we're dealing with literally thousands of individually elected local officials. And we think the best way to break those barriers is to educate them on, on why we're here, how we're here, and ways to combat the nimbyism that really is the driver for um, for these, a lot of these uh, uh, deleterious land use regulations. Um, so uh, we've been working on a on a education package. Uh, we've been working on a uh, housing affordability uh, plans with the cities so that they have plans for uh, the creation of more affordable housing, more housing, but but integrating uh, more affordable housing at uh, 50, 80 percent AMI. Uh, and uh, we may have to have some uh, penalties. Uh, right now, there are, there are no penalties to local cities in Utah who are not, um, who are not complying with the uh, moderate income housing uh, element of their general plans. Uh, that's probably the, uh, the last thing we want to do, but it may be what has to happen. So, uh, there are a lot of challenges uh, dealing with thousands of people who believe that they're elected to do certain things. And one of those is to, uh, you know, create more expensive housing in their neighborhoods. So we're working on those uh, on a daily basis. And uh, we are really looking forward to hearing the ideas that you come up with uh, to help us uh, innovate some uh, innovate with these local land use authorities. Thanks and best of luck to everybody.